Kia ora, hello. We have some bonus footage from our last video, How to Research an Impression. If you haven't watched it, head over there now. If you have, you're probably wondering, how did I manage to get my buckler to hang from the sword like that? Well, this is the footage that shows you how. So, without further ado, let's find out. So, how this works. Number one, the scabbard has a strap, and that's how the scabbard is attached to the belt. Two, on the back of the buckler is the secondary strap, and that rests underneath your quillions. resting on this strap. Okay. So when you go to draw your sword, you grab a handle by this, your left hand or your off hand, you grab your sword by your right hand as you start to pull, that strap there comes up and you follow through that comes out of that hole of that strap, see there, whoop and now we're holding sword and buckler together and that's how through that research I have been able to deduce how a buckler is held on a belt and it's easy enough to put back on we just insert like that and it hangs to take it off again like that it's quick loading and if you do um, 133 it's actually really fast because your hand is right right there right there for your guard but not there not there or there you know. anyway there you go pro tip pro tip and that's how I've attached it so it's not split it's attached with two period nails. Here's the back of it. Those are all hand cut washers, scraps of steel, and those are peened over nails that are made. Anyway, there you go. Have fun. Keep reenacting.